back to my channel. I have missed you dearly. I have been going back and forth from California to Vegas. You guys probably already know I've been having an issue with this freaking arm of mine. And with Halloween that just passed, it's just been very hectic. I wanted to put up a Halloween tutorial, but because of my arm, I could not do that. So I do apologize. I'm sure you guys can understand. Cut me some slack. <laughs> anyway, so I just went to my 10 year high school high reunion. reunion. Probably shouldn't be saying it that loud because I mean, who wants to celebrate that? I'm getting old. But um, I did have a lot of people like my look from um, Snapchat. I had a lot of people ask me on Instagram if I could recreate, recreate, if I could recreate that makeup look. So that's exactly what I did today and I always have fun challenging myself. Cut crease is probably one of my hardest challenges, but practice makes perfect and I am still trying every single day to perfect my skills. So with that being said, we will jump right into this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Before we start with our eyes, I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner. As you guys can see, I'm letting my eyebrows grow out right now. They are extremely bushy, so what I'm gonna do is take a white eyeliner and I'm just gonna go right underneath that to kind of conceal that area. I do need some more concealing so the white really covers it up nicely and then we're just gonna go ahead and blend that downwards. All right, so I am going to be using this IT Cosmetics dual-sided brush. I'm gonna be using the fluffier side to go ahead and blend that out. Now that that is done, I am going to be using the V Shade and Light Palette. So I'm gonna be using this color, it is called Saleos. And what I'm going to be doing is putting that right underneath our eyebrow bone and just basically pulling the color down. With this look, before we go in and start to carve out um, that cut crease in a darker color, I am going to be taking a lighter brown first. So I'm going to be taking this color here called Latinus. So I want my cut crease to kind of start right about here. So I'm going to be taking this with a very, very light hand. I like to do and I kind of use it as a guide I like to find where that um, eyebrow bone is and I just like tuck it right in there and then once I get to the end I just kind of angle my brush this way and pull it out you can tell I'm like super focused <laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard this, your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. That's exactly how it is for a cut crease, I feel, in my opinion. But, I mean, those of you that can actually do it without, you know, and get them both perfectly, kudos to you, girl. All right, so now that we have them kind of both carved out, I am just gonna kind of blend that upwards a little bit. And you really don't want anything to fall below that line. So anytime you're blending, make sure you are blending up and out. Now that we have that, what I like to do is go in with a gray. I like to start it right about here. And remember, I'm using a very, very, very light hand for this. Also notice my position of my brush. I'm holding it at the very end because that puts the lightest amount of pressure. Next, we're gonna go in with the black color. Blah, 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 blah. Very scary stuff. So I'm also going to be just focusing on the middle part of the eye. All right, so now we have a more distinct cut crease. So we'll go in and do the other side. Like I said, don't worry about blending anything out right now. You're just basically focusing on the placement of your colors and that cut crease. What I'm going to do now is I am going to be taking 
my blending brush it is tapered which is really nice because you um, have that really nice precision above that cut crease that cut, 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 <laughs> that cut crease line and what I'm doing is I'm really basically pushing it into the socket that underneath that eyebrow bone just to make sure everything is that nicely blended next for my favorite part of this look we are going to be taking this NYX loose pigment it is so beautiful what we're going to be doing is i'm going to be going back to this um it cosmetics uh dual side brush and i'm going to be taking this pointed side here i don't know if you guys can see that but i have so much stuff in my hands it is just a pointed synthetic brush what i'm going to be doing is dipping this in because it is the hardest thing to take out of this bottle and what i'm going to be doing is basically packing this onto the lid making sure I do not go above that cut crease. We do want to make sure that this extends so you really make that cut crease like pop. So now what we're going to do is go back to this little guy here. Take a little bit of that gray and the black, and I'm just gonna go in and cut out this cut crease again. Then we're just gonna go back to our Sephora brush and blend this all out. So next we are going to be doing our eyeliner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a very thin line all the way across my eye. All right, so that is it for our liner to clean up these sides. What I do is I take a little bit of concealer, I put it on just the tip of the Beauty Blender and I just go right underneath that eyeliner and just clean up that area. So we are almost finished. So I just got a brand new one. I'm super excited. This one is the Define Lash uh, Maybelline Mascara. We're just going to prep our lashes for falsies. And hit those lower lashes too. I absolutely love these lashes. I feel like they made the entire look and really pulled the look together too. All and last but not least, my eyebrows. I know you guys are probably staring at them like, damn girl, get that shit done. I am using my Brow Zings by Benefit. It is like my favorite powder and it's super easy and fast to do. I am going to be using, what is this, what is this? Maybelline lipstick in the color 650 called Nude Embrace. It is a matte color. And my YSL to top it off in the color 105. I think it's like the coral pink color. So this is the finished look and this is the wonderful cut crease that I had created. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, I'll see you in my next one. Mwah.